Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Justinian Junction, where we meet for gaming. And as always, it's a pleasure seeing you once again. This is a completely unsponsored, unadulterated, honest review of Real Company, which is a third person 4v4 tactical multiplayer shooter developed by First Watch Games, which is a new development studio under the High Res banner, consisting of senior developers from High Res. Blizzard, Daybreak, EA, and Vicarious Vision Studios respectively. This team of veteran developers have united to make this game. Rogue Company features a range of playable characters referred to as rogues. It is a cross-platform cross-progression and stated to be free to play once it's officially released. It's currently in a closed paid beta. And as of the making of this video, the game currently has 3 game modes and 8 maps, 7 in some. Matches consist of multiple rounds, with each round beginning with both teams skydiving from the aircraft onto the map below, as you saw in the intro video, to compete against each other. There are currently 13 rogues available to choose from, if you purchase the Founders Pack. More have already been announced. Each rogue has a special ability. For example, Anvil can place down a barricade. Lancer can run a distance with a speed boost while her footsteps are silenced. Glitch who can detect nearby enemy equipment and destroy them with an EMP, which can also affect the enemy's heads up display. Between rounds, players may use cash, which is earned from completing objectives and downing or eliminating players in a previous round, to buy and upgrade weaponry, equipment, and perks. And now on to the nitty gritty. This game at its current state has its own fair share of bugs, which is to be expected since we're still in beta. There was a binding bug for console, which has been fixed for customizing your controls. And once you close the game and restart, the changes were not stored. Along with T-Pose bugs when you kill an enemy, which is still rampant, and most of the time awkwardly amusing. There are connection issues when queuing up. You can spend a few minutes waiting just to join and it will disconnect you and you would have to reconnect as you can see in the split screen. I am not going to name the entire grocery list of bugs, however I have complete confidence that high res will address them all. The ping system in this game is rudimentary at best and definitely needs every work. The map rotation in this game is completely unorthodox. With 8 maps available, 7 in 2 different game modes, I can easily remain in one map for 4 or 5 full games in a row. Then afterwards, go to a map that I haven't seen in a couple of days. This game, like every other, has a learning curve. If you are accustomed to first person shooters and think that you can come here and easily dominate in this game, you will be sadly mistaken. I will admit that I made the same mistaken assumption. There's a different mindset to playing a third person shooter. You have to use cameras, play at angles, you never run out in the open. Because if you do, 8 times out of 10, when you're approaching a designated objective, you'll come across an enemy that will pop out from cover and kill you before you can react. The three game modes currently available are Extraction, where both teams are tasked with hacking a terminal and they must hold off attacks from the enemy team until the timer runs out. However, the opposing team can still clutch a win by hacking into the terminal before the end of the cooldown. To make the stakes higher, each round of Extraction is a single elimination. This pays another path to victory as the team can also win by simply eliminating all the opposing team first team to win 7 rounds is declared victorious. Think of Search and Destroy from Call of Duty. Each player starts with $5,000 cash. Strikeout is a team deathmatch like mode, where each team starts with a 12 respawn ticket pool. The tickets are basically vouchers that allow you to respawn. 
eliminating players and holding control points diminishes the opposing team's number of spawn tickets. Control points rotate every round, and controlling it for 30 seconds reduces the enemy ticket count by 1. Each player starts with $12,000 cash in the first round. You must win a total of 3 rounds to be victorious. Rounds last 5 minutes at the most, with an 8 second respawn cooldown. Demolition is the most competitive mode and my personal favorite in Rogue Company. It is objective based with an attacking and defending team. The attackers must plant a bomb at one of two designated bomb sites, while the defending team protects the sites. Either team can also win by eliminating the entire opposing team. It is reminiscent of Counter-Strike, but with 6 rounds per side. First team to win 7 rounds is victorious. Each player starts with $5,000 cash. leads me to my next topic, gameplay. This game is truly more enjoyable with a full squad who exercises good communication and prioritizes objectives along with strategic plays over personal gain and stats. Kills will come, I can't stress that out enough. However, when you are solo queuing in an objective game mode like Dimension, you will come across players who prioritize their own personal goals instead of the objective such as kills and downs. I will make a separate video on the current type of players that I have come across. I also strongly urge you to take advantage of their practice demolition mode so you can familiarize yourself with all the maps and the objective locations. There's even a training room as you see in this clip where you can test out each character's abilities, their weaponry, shoot at moving targets, and fine tune your sensitivity to suit your playstyle. They even introduced an in-game shop, which I wasn't expecting, especially in beta. The prices, however, are a bit expensive in my opinion. For a legendary skin, 2,000 Robux, which converts to $20 cash, respectively. Momentarily, I will show you some gameplay. Acceptable. Prevent the enemy from planting the bomb. Lethal out. Deploying utility. Enemy spotted. Enemies remaining. Well done. Very well.
have been eliminated. Acceptable. Lethal out. Enemy spotted. Behind us! Enemies planted the bomb. Stop them! Spotted. I've got the objective. Bomb defused. Go here. Acceptable. Deploying utility. Get me off! I'm not done! You okay? You okay? Thanks. Lethal out! Targets eliminated. Great work. Very well.
lethal out. done. Get me all out. I'm not done. Please eliminate it. Regroup. We will batter through any obstacle in our way. Very well. Pick a site and plant the bomb. Enemies remaining. Well done. Come on, buddy. Check it off. Match point. Let's get it. Very well.
Defend it. Okay. Get me off. I'm not done. No enemies remaining. Well done. For future reference and posterity. I expect High Res to add a rank mode, along with a season battle pass, and address the rudimentary ping system. In conclusion, this game has tremendous potential for success, and I foresee a highly competitive esports scene along with Twitch Prime cosmetic drops as well as drops for PlayStation Plus members. I truly enjoy playing this game, and I look forward to releasing great gameplay videos on this channel. Thank you for watching. And thank you for joining me in Justinian's Junction, where we meet through gaming. Until we meet again in the next video.